Now here in this video, we are going to discuss about your KMS, which is called as Key Management Services. So as we know, um, if you are going to store the data onto your instances, which we are going to create, so if you're keeping the data, if you're keeping some important information, so you're creating a server, you will be requiring some security. So here we are going to create a security so that whenever you want to connect to your instance, we will be using a shared key. Unless you have a shared key, you won't be able to access your data. So KMS is a particular service of your Amazon Web Services, which provides you a easy to control and add your encrypted keys for any of your applications, any of your instance which you are going to create as well as the databases. It uses a hardware security model so that um, whenever you want to connect you will be having a key which you need to locate at your hardware and then you can share that particular key with your uh, instance which you have or the database which you have. You can uh, connect those keys at the client and then you will be able to connect it. So the security creates two copy of a key. One will be located at your AM, uh, your AWS, and other will be located from the where we are going to access the service. So once you provide the key, you will be able to access the service which you require. So how we are going to use this KMS? So it is a complete or fully managed service. So you can, you know, focus on your encryption needs for so your applications while your AWS handles availability, your physical security as well as the hardware maintained underlying your infrastructure. Now if again you talk about your KMS features, so as we have discussed, it provides a key to you so that this particular control of this particular key is very easy to manage by you. So you just need to save your key at a proper location and uh, whenever you want to share with any of your clients so that uh, he wants to access it or any particular user who want to access your instance you just need to share a copy of this key to him so that he will be able to access it directly now again if i talk about the kms feature it is centralized control for encrypted keys so uh, your encrypted keys are located at central location as i said it is located at your cloud itself that is an amazon itself and um, Every key has a you know, set of two pairs where generally one will be located with your Amazon Web Services and you can share the other key with the customer or we can say the user which you want to use it. Next again, if I talk about your KMS feature, again it contains a single view usage. So you will be able to see all the keys aligned in the same console. So uh, you don't need to find the keys into different applications or database services which you have. So every each and every key is located at a single view. So you'll be able to see all the keys at one point of finding itself. Next, if I talk about KMS feature, as I said, you can uh, even implement a key rotation so that your keys get rotated. You can, you know, change the keys uh, for different applications or different uh, uh, instance which you are going to create. Next, again, if I talk about your KMS feature, uh, this particular KMS feature provide you an encrypted, which will be managed by your uh, API or any of the console. So if you want to access directly through your console, you can create your console key and you can manage it, or you can even use your some APS for managing this particular key or for accessing our service. Next, again, if I talk about the KMS key integration, it is integrated with some of the services like uh, S3. So by default, in storage, you can connect your, um, you can create a key pair and you can store or secure our S3 services, that is your storage services. Next, we have Amazon Redshift. It is again uh, integrated with your KMS key. Your Elastic Block Storage, which is nothing but your, um, disk which you are going to connect onto your instances by default disk we have that is your EBS so you can also secure the data which is stored into your EBS disk that is nothing but your instance default instance next we have uh, RDS so even your database can be uh, you know protected using this particular KMS integration key as well as your elastic transcoder is again one of the service which has a uh, KMS integrated with it as well as your workmail so these are the services which are by default integrated with your KMS. Next again, if I talk about your um, KMS integrations, it is again integrated with the most of your client applications like your, uh, from where we are going to access our KMS services or any of the services like your AWS DKs, we can uh, use for protecting our data, we can use for accessing our services. Next, even through your command line interface, we can access our services and each will be protected to us. 
Next, again, if I talk about your KMS, it's not only integrated with the existing services of your MSN, but also if suppose you have created some uh, applications, you can again define uh, the application security on application, or again, you can define an application security, or you can say a data security where generally you have stored your data, or the application forms which are stored over here, or the tables which are stored over here on your any of your databases. It can be your MySQL, it can be your PostgreSQL, it can be your SQL server, any server, or any of the S3 services. So your application generally has some location where it generally stores data, right? So each and every data what you store into your storage can also be protected using this KMS service. Next, again, if I talk about the cost of the service, that is your KMS service. So as we know, each and every key generally which we create into your KMS cost $1. So uh, the number of you keys you generally create, automatically it will create a $1 it will be costing you. Now one key is completely free. Now if suppose you are using only one key, it is completely free of use for you so that you can access this particular services. Um, and then the service, what exactly you are accessing, uh, 1,000, sorry, 10,000 APR request. If you complete, after that, you need to pay just three cents so that uh, it is chargeable after uh, 10,000 APR. So it is most enough if you're not a frequent user of your uh, Amazon Web Services. Right, so for free tier, it is very beneficial. Next, again, if I talk about KMS key integrity, as we know, um, our console contain your KMS, KMS, where generally all the particular security keys are not only located into your AMS cloud, uh, so that uh, generally it is, uh, you know, saved. So it is saved into different regions, different zones as well. Unlike your other particular uh, security concept generally, which we have, which stores the data onto your different locations like your disk. So it doesn't support anything stored to be on disk, not in your RAM, RAM itself, or not in your system. So everything is located into your different Amazon, uh, you know, console where generally everything is managed by a different team which we have with your AWS. Right, which will ensure that your data integrity is maintained as well as your whatever data you have, it will be secure in certain locations. If I talk about the KMS, there are much more things what we can do into your KMS. We can create a key, we can again share this key with the client, the client can access and can generate the key for accessing your Amazon Web Services that we are going to see into our next session. So keep watching and get upgraded.